the world's seven most amazing squids. Hey guys, it's Balencia here with another video. You don't have to be a doctor Caligari to love calamari though, it helps to have an appreciation for the strange and bizarre, for the squids are both of those and more. These eight amazing squids spawn the global oceans while expanding the walls of any cabinet of Kuro cities. Keep watching to learn about the world's seven most amazing squids. Number one, we have the piglet squid. The piglet squid may look like a cartoon come to life but appearances can be deceptive. For one thing, this avocado-sized creature's life in the low light zone 200 to 1000 meters, 650 to 3300 feet below sea level so it's often spot swimming upside down and thus looking up. Its tentacle territory give it the look a cubie piglet spurting a mop of unkempt hair. We have the Vampire Squid. The Vampire Squid translate to Vampire Squid from Hill. It was first described in 1903 by German squid expert Carl Kuhn, who was obviously deeply impressive and disturbed by creature's large red eyes and the spooky black linen of its clock. This curious creature lies taxonomically somewhere between squids and octopus. The aforementioned clock formed by webbing that connects in arms is unique among cephalopods. Vampire squid also spur dozens of old fleshy spike along their arms, enabled to distract predators by expelling a cloud of mucus containing small bioluminescent orbs. We're definitely going to need a bigger clinic. More recently, the perceived evil Hideousness of the vampire squid invoked by Occupy Movement as a way to describe investment banker Golden Sachs, which is actually insulting to the vampire squad. Number 3 we have the colossal squid. The colossal squid is well named at 12 to 14 meters or 39 to 46 feet in length and weighing in excess of 500 kilograms 1100 lb. This real life kraken is about the only other sea creature able to give full grown sperm whales a bite. The whales often win but pay the price of having their skin scored by the squid's hundreds of hooks to its suckers. Native to deep, dark and frigid Antarctic waters, colossal squid are only rarely encountered though. Often weekly, a great report of them are found in the world in ocean legend. They may not be able to bring down a clipper ship, but with eyes the size of dinner plates, it is sure that they could see one coming from offer. Number 4. We have the glass squid. Glass squid are a family of squid species, the majority of which have mainly transparent bodies. One of the more unusual in Scrancius cobra, a species that bolsters its semi-transparent strengthness by having a barrel-shaped body studded with dozens of small tuberculosis. When stressed or attacked by predators, 150 mm or 3 inch long Scrancius cobra pulls its heads and tentacles its studded mantle much like a tortoise retreating into its shell. Unlike the tortoise, Grancius cobra can inject ink into the mantle leaning and near instantly camouflage itself against dark backgrounds. 
short of like teenage mutant ninja squid. Number 5, we have the striped pyjama squid. The striped pyjama squid is actually the cuttlefish, but hey, we're inclusive and ambient, so come on in. Besides, with a name like a striped pyjama squid, the fun nouns no bounds. They may only be 50 millimeters or 2 inches long, but they are one of the very few poisonous cephalopods. Native to the southern India and Pacific Ocean in water around Australia, this Nazi Z been triples bold enough to tempt young GM Brian Casman to whip out his checkbook. Its style and skin isn't even the squid's most outstanding feature. That will be the pair of carrier's hand, like appendage extending upwards just off of its eyes, a wave beneath the waves as it were. Number 6. We have a Japanese flying squid. The Japanese flying squid doesn't take to the air often, but when it does, it does so spectacularly. Witnesses have observed a specimen of this species singly and in groups, soaring for up to 50 meters or about 165 feet over the waves in an ever to escape less versatile predators like whales. Japanese flying squid aren't the only squid observed taking to the air, like water power rockets, but they have done it enough to have earned their colloquial name. There's one drawback to being a bouncy creature, though, and that's extra exposure to birds such as albatrosses. Talk about being put between a rock and hard place. Number 7, we have a jumbo squid. Growing up to 1.75 meter long and weighing up to 50 kilograms, jumbo squid are some of the largest squids commonly encountered by humans. But beware, they are not called devils for nothing. Jumbo squid are intelligent and curious, which has led to many reports of scuba divers having their face masks, regulators, and air hoses. And more grabbed by these very much touch filthy creatures, you'll find them along the Pacific Ocean coast of North and South America, or more likely, they'll find you. Also known as Red Devil in Spanish, Jumbo squid aren't just armed, they are armed to the teeth. In fact, they armed have teeth. Weakly hood and dangerously curved, these point pincers are found within the squid suckers and add another dimension to their potent predatory prowess. So, that's our The World's 7 Most Amazing Squid video. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion for a future video, or question you have, as we love to get into respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our balance sheet of family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. So until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.